hi everyone welcome to this session uh, so today we will be solving this uh, very interesting interview question okay so this is a uh, we can see uh, rc based circuit with diodes right okay so let here we have uh, another diode okay so the question can be complete okay so this is 10 volt okay so we have this circuit uh, the there are two capacitors okay there are two capacitors and they are initially uncharged okay two capacitor and there are two diodes and they the diodes are ideal okay there are two diodes let's say d1 and d2 okay and uh, what do we need to find we need to find what is the time constant of the circuit okay so uh, so how we can solve this because there is diode present right so basically for uh, time constant we need uh, equivalent r equivalent and c equivalent of this circuit okay so for that how do you know we have to deactivate all the all the sources right all the independent sources so if there is a current source then it would it must be open circuited right and if there is a voltage source so this voltage source must be short circuited right we all know that and then we have to find the what is the equivalent resistance of the circuit and what is the equivalent capacitance of the circuit then the time constant is nothing but time constant tau is nothing but r equivalent times c equivalent okay so now here the diode is the problem okay so how we can find so actually we need uh, to check uh, 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 the conduction of the diodes okay like these two diodes are all, uh, on or off okay like which diodes which diode is on and off okay so we need to check that first okay and diode are ideal means if the diode is conducting then they, the diode will be short circuited okay that means the resistance is zero on resistance is zero and the cartridge voltage is also zero okay and uh, uh, yes so now let let me copy okay so here this 3 volt this 10 volts and this 10 volts are independent voltage sources okay so if i draw like that so it will be looking like this okay so this is 10 volt this is 3 volt okay and this is 10 volt again okay so this will be looking like that okay so now let me copy the circuit okay and paste it over there okay now we have to check which diode is conducting or not okay so now for that what we can do we can do the open circuit test okay so if we if we do open circuit test, so this terminal becomes open and this terminal becomes open right again this terminal this terminal is open and this terminal is open okay so now we have to find uh, which of the diode is on or off okay so now both of the capacitor is initially answered right so the vc2 was 0 volt right like if this so this voltage minus this voltage will be 0 volt okay so what will be the node voltage here so this 10 volts comes here okay so this terminal is 10 volt okay as the capacitor is previously uncharged okay so this node is 10 volt so this node will be 10 volts again right because this open circuited no current can go through so this terminal exactly equal to the same okay so this is the open circuit test you all know similarly so this node is 10 volt okay so this node will be 10 volts but what about this node okay so actually we can see that this whole part this this whole part is a new circuit becomes a new circuit right so now we can see that this becomes like uh, we can see so if we can like if we can neglect the capacitor this capacitor right now okay so if i am neglecting okay so let me so i am i am i am neglecting this okay this cap so we can see that there is a only a resistive divider and we can also see that so no car no current can go through this part because this is open circuit okay so all of the current uh, for, due to this three volt voltage source all of the current will flow through this way right now uh, assuming okay so assuming as, so this voltage cannot be more than 3 volt right 
like if we assume assume if we assume r1 equals r2 equals r3 let's say so then this voltage becomes 1.5 volt right okay right 1.5 volt and if our r3 is r3 is very 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 larger than r1 then then it becomes 3 volt okay right so this voltage cannot be more than 3 volt okay why it is coming i am writing here okay why i have told that so if r3 is very very larger than so let's say this is vx okay so vx is nothing but 3 into normal voltage division or resistive division you can say so this will be r3 divided by r1 plus r3 and let's say uh, what i have said so this so r3 plus r1 is approximately equal to r3 right so this becomes 3 into r3 by r3 right so this becomes 3 volt one. so maximum this node voltage can go to 3 volt okay now so so there is no current flowing through this branch so this node voltage must be 3 volt okay because no current means i is zero right so i into r drop is also zero okay so this becomes a short circuit okay effectively so this 3 volt reach there so if this 3 volt reach here so the, the, this 3 volt also reach there right and similarly if this 3 volt is reached there this like the, this node is also 3 volt right now we can see that uh, okay let me change the okay so now we can see right now okay okay let okay so we can see this for this diode the p is the p is the p side is this is the p side right so p side is vp is 3 volt and vn is 10 volt okay so will this diode conduct no right because here the positive node is uh, like 7 volt lower than the negative volt, negative terminal right like p side p side is lower than the n side so this diode will not conduct okay so this is confirmed and for this for this diode we can see that uh, we can see that there is uh, there is 10 volt of p side right so vp is 10 volt and vn is 3 volt right this is 3 volt so here we can see that uh, like the p side is uh, p side is higher than the n side so this diode will definitely conduct okay so now if this diode is not conducting so this will be open circuit right because this is the ideal like the diode is ideal right when the diode is of equal axis as a open circuit we all know right so now if this circuit becomes open circuit this this element this element so the like this okay so let me do that okay so i am re redrawing the circuit so here is r1 here is r2 and here is r3 there is a capacitor and this becomes open circuit okay so now this was the c2 let's say this is c1 this is grounded this is grounded this is r3 and this is r2 right so as this d1 is conducting so this will be a short circuit and here will be a 10 volt source and there will be a 3 volt source and they, there will be a 10 volt source again so now effectively what will happen actually this is uh, this voltage is with respect to ground right so for finding uh, time constant this node will be grounded this node will be also grounded right and this node will also ground it okay so effectively we can see that for this figure this c2 is not uh, contributing anything okay because this is open circuit right so this is like this is dead dead element okay we can say say that for for finding the time constants okay so now here we can see that uh, the effective like the equivalent capacitance is nothing but c on right and across c on we have three resistance and connected in parallel so r equivalent is nothing but r1 parallel r2 parallel r3 okay so this is the thing so what will be the time constant so time constant will be nothing but r equivalent time c equivalent second right the unit of the time constant is second so this will be c1 times r1 parallel r2 parallel r3 okay so this is the final answer actually here the tricky part is the diode okay so one diode is conducting so this diode is conducting and this diode is no conducting is not conducting so this c2 is out of the picture okay so this is how we can find the time constant of the circuit okay 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 yes uh, so you can give your valuable figures okay
thank you